back to my channel. So today I have a highly requested video which is an Ariana Grande makeup look. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching. I first started off by moisturising my face and I'm using the Vitamin C one here by The Body Shop and it's really great for the summery months because it's really light but moisturising at the same time. And I let that sit for a few minutes before going on to the primer and for that I use the Professional by Benefit and this just helps with the foundation going on really nice and smoothly. And for foundation I use the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation which my cousin got me recently for my birthday and I am absolutely loving it. And I like to apply this best with a damp beauty blender. And I recently got the black one and I've got to say it's way, way, way better than the pink beauty blender. Then I moved on to concealer and for concealer I use the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Concealer. So I applied this underneath my eyes in the usual triangle shape because this just brightens that whole area. And then I just applied the smallest amount on my forehead down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow and just underneath where my contour would be. Now Ariana Grande doesn't really do like the full on contour and highlight kind of thing. So I kind of kept this as natural looking as possible. Then take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus, I'm just setting all of the areas where we applied that Bare Minerals Concealer. And this is just so that it's all set and it doesn't budge anywhere. Then taking the Master Sculpt from Maybelline, I'm taking the Medium Dark Shade and I'm just slightly, slightly, slightly contouring my face. And I'm just doing this very lightly again because Ariana Grande doesn't really have a very contoured look either. It's very, very quite natural looking. So I'm just doing the hairline, my jawline, and then I also decided to do my lips a little bit and also my nose. And this is just because Ariana has a really cute, like, dinky nose. <laughs> and then grabbing Moonstone from Becca Cosmetics, I am highlighting the bridge of my nose and then just ever so slightly on the tops of my cheeks. Now this is a super, super pigmented highlighter, but it's beautiful. Then grabbing Dallas Blusher from Benefit, I am applying that onto the apples of my cheeks. And the reason why I use this is because, again, Ariana doesn't really wear much colour on her cheeks, and this is nice and natural. Then it was time to do my brows, and I used the Soap & Glory Outry, Outry? <laughs> Outry Double-Ended Pencil, and here you can see that they're all done. Now moving on to eyes, I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer to first put a layer of that on to my eyelids and this just acts as a nice base for the eyeshadows to stick onto and lasts for a very, very long time too. Then taking this Cocoa Blend palette from Zoeva and grabbing these two top shades here, I'm just applying that to my brow bone as a very subtle highlight. And again, very, very kind of natural looking because Ariana doesn't go OTT on this. And then grabbing those two shades there, I'm applying them on to my whole entire eyelid. Now Ariana seems to always wear really kind of warm earthy tones on her eyelids which is why I thought this would be the perfect palette. Then taking this really nice kind of brick red colour and it's matte as well from the same palette, I'm putting that into the crease of my eyes. Really concentrating that colour in there before going in with a big fluffy brush just to make sure that all the lines are nicely blended out and looking like Ariana's kind of eye makeup. Then taking the version eyeliner by Urban Decay, I am tight lining my upper and lower water lines. And once I have done this, it is time to move on to that gorgeous winged eyeliner that Ariana does. And I'm using the Supercat Liquid Eyeliner by Soap & Glory. So first I'm just doing a line on my top waterline, sorry not top waterline, top lash line and then just flicking that out and I'm making sure that the flick is quite thick because that's what Ariana is known for and I think I could have angled the flick a little bit even higher up because she does have it very very angular. Um, and then once I'm done with that I'm just dragging a little bit more of that product onto my lower lash line as well just to thicken the look up a little bit. And for mascara, I used my go-to mascara combo, and that is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline and Miss Manga Punky by L'Oreal. And I did my usual curling my lashes first, going in with the Lash Sensational as a good base before moving on to the Miss Manga Punky just to thicken up the lashes a little bit more. And then the final step, going back in with the Lash Sensational to make sure all the eyelashes are nicely spread out. 
and looking like how I want them to look. And then I also added the same Lash Sensational Mascara onto my lower lashes as well. Now for lips, I use this Meat Matte Hues shade. I'm not too sure of the shade name, but I will leave it in the info box below. But it's by The Balm Cosmetics, and I'm first putting this onto my entire lips before going in with a bit of a nude shade, because I found it was a bit too pink looking. So here I'm just taking MAC's Myth Lipstick and putting that straight on top. And then it was looking way too nude, so I decided to kind of add a bit more warmth in it by adding MAC's Saw Lip Liner on top. And MAC have totally come out with this as a lipstick and it is gorgeous. I can't wait to do more looks with the actual lipstick. So once I was done with that, I was happy with the shade and then I used this new Esquido Lash Glue which is just so, so, so good. I'm absolutely loving it. And I cut two of the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes in half and just stuck the outer half to my outer lashes before fixing up the eyeliner in case it was slightly messed up or that there was like any glue on there or anything like that. But this, you guys, is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Ariana Grande inspired makeup. I think this is a great look to just kind of be like a go-to look. It's something that you can wear like all throughout the year, which is what I love. But please leave me any suggestions of other celebrity looks you'd like me to do next and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!